So this time we have uh, Daniel here. Daniel, welcome to Olomot. Nice to see you. Yeah, you as well. Um, so what exactly do you do at the Heart of Europe Debating Tournament 2017? Uh, I'm the Chief Tabulation Officer. I run the tab room here. Uh, I've been doing that for three years now, uh, since 2015. I make sure that all the numbers match, I take ballots, I analyze the results, and then I match teams against each other in the next round. So I just make sure that all the numbers and all the data make sense. So, uh, being a, so you are a chief uh, tab officer, essentially. That's right. And um, do you also have any, any involvement with choice of the motions? Uh, I am sort of involved in that. I do look at them and they ask me for my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not one of the most important people. I just have a look and say what I think. So uh, I've seen some of the motions at this tournament and uh, some of them are very, well, in my opinion, quite complicated. Would you be able to name a motion debated, for example, today? Uh, well, one of the motions that is being debated at this very moment is this house would uh, be deliberately politically incorrect, which I think is a really interesting motion, especially in today's political climate. I see. And so, what is your, what is your background? Uh, how did you come to debating and uh, part of Europe uh, on uh, that matter? So, <laughs> I've been debating since, must be 2013. Um, I came to Heart of Europe in 2015 by accident. Um, nice accident. Like one round, so one tournament in Slovenia I wasn't um, debating, so I mm -hmm. was around the tab room and I thought it was interesting. And then I was, so I was already in contact with uh, Stepan who worked here and he was supposed to be the tabulation officer. Okay. And he invited me to come along because I had that little bit of experience and together we tabulated that tournament. Excellent. So uh, what do you think of Olomots and, uh, and um, how does it compare to the place where you normally live or study? Well, it's an actual town. I live in a campus university. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a fairly large difference. Um, we don't really get that much time to go outside, so I'm not really sure. I've been on the tour once. It's fairly nice, very old, and like we have a large collection of weapons here, so that's quite nice. Collection of weapons? What do you mean by that? Well, somehow someone got the idea that it would be fun if we did a play with actual medieval weapons. So we have swords and halberds and I think I saw a suit of armor once. Mm -hmm. so that's interesting, yeah, very unique. Oh, it's like kind of a roll, uh, what do you call that, LARP? Oh, LARP no, maybe? it's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's very Comic Con. Um, I think it's just a play that they decided to stage once. It was very fun. Something about a king dying because of some, like, I don't know, I can't remember anymore. Yeah. Well, Daniel, thank you very much for your time, taking this interview, and I hope to see you here next year again. Yeah, uh, we'll see about that. We'll see? Okay. Let's hope uh, we're going to see what. <laughs>